Tourism operators are a little worried about an American website which discourages people from diving in Queensland. Operators have rubbished the website saying it's amateurish and it's not accurate. It's called Don't Dive Queensland and tourism operators say the website has the potential to damage the state's dive industry. We don't need anything like that that's potentially adverse and putting people off as far as coming here goes, that's for sure. The website lists things Americans should consider before diving in the Sunshine State. There's also a timeline of dive deaths and incidents in Queensland, along with the names of the six operators involved. But there's no detail about the website's publisher. The website is uh, very trashy, it's very amateurish. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was set up by some rival industry overseas. Gabe Watson, who was charged with murdering his former bride Tina during a scuba dive off Townsville, gets a special mention. Tom and Eileen Lonigan haven't been forgotten either. But Rod Punchin, who gave evidence at the Lonigan's inquest, says the website has its facts wrong. It's unfortunate that people can uh, put that sort of information up there without any sort of real right of refusal, I guess, from the industry. You'd only hope that anyone reading that sort of information might do their homework before they made a decision based on the information. The Assistant Tourism Minister says it's a chance for the dive industry to step up. It's certainly an opportunity for a group like Dive Queensland to revamp what they're doing on the web, to actually start promoting uh, and getting on the front foot in terms of uh, how wonderfully safe the industry here is in Queensland. Abigail Stanbridge, 7 News.